I've traveled so far. It's time I finally face the boss. Rawr. <clears throat> um, you know, maybe I'll just come back another day. After traveling through a world for days, you finally reached it. The big battle. Finally, you can save the princess, the village, the whole world. And it all comes down to the lessons you've learnt and the friends you've made along the way. My favourite boss battles are the ones that really feel like they're in the world. Big guys, like the bosses in Breath of the Wild's Divine Beasts and the Great Wall of Flesh from Terraria really capture this. Even Minecraft's Ender Dragon. Ah, uh, well... No, um, I mean, it. it's definitely a boss fight. I needed a big finale for my platformer game, and what better way to do that than with a boss fight? But what's our boss gonna do? Well, when it comes to boss design, there's only so many things we can do. Make them move around, and then you have to choose between whether they shoot a projectile or use a big fucking sword. But our game is due in two days, and so we're gonna keep it simple and stay away from melee. Some of the biggest inspirations for this game are Cave Story and Super Meat Boy. So we want something a little goofy and silly. And what's more silly than a box? Yeah, we can worry about art when we're dead. Now we just want to have him hover around. That's easy, something we've done for every other enemy. No big challenge. He's floating side to side like a frightening alien from another world. That's just what the power of the orb gets you. But he needs to attack. Or does he? The whole point of the game is you collect little guys to attack enemies for you. So why don't we make the boss do the same? He flies around and drops enemies on you that will quickly overwhelm you if you aren't careful. There's only one problem. Up until now, the player has never been able to die, but in a boss battle we need some stakes, and this cow just isn't adding enough. But the game is due in 6 hours, how could we implement health for the player and the boss? Because, oh yeah, you can't kill the boss either yet, but I guess you're just not strong enough. Boom. Little hearts. Yours are in the top corner, but where are the big guys? Well, they're just above his head of course, because a bar at the bottom of the screen would be much too hard, and that's it. Four hours left to the submission deadline and it's all over. I beat the hardest challenge of making my game by adding in the boss. And although it's not quite the game I wanted to make, and it's definitely lackluster when it comes to features, it works. So there are a couple problems with this boss. And the first is that you just can't see it. Now this is more of a problem with the level as there aren't any platforms and the camera is just following the player. So you have to jump to be able to see the boss and his health. This could be solved by making the camera more fixed like what Metroid does, or by adding in some more platforms, like in Hollow Knight. There also is only one stage, so the player can just keep jumping around, shooting at the little enemies until there are none and then just attack the boss. Maybe if we added one more projectile and some variation in the movements, this could keep the boss fresh and something you need to learn without making it super overwhelming. But these are more in-depth gameplay changes, as opposed to just code changes. So I think I need to reevaluate the game as a whole if I were to continue. And I am thinking of continuing it. And I'm thinking maybe I'll turn it into a Metroidvania. You can play the game now over on edge.io and I'll probably keep working on the game, so you should subscribe if you think it looks cool.